Hi Esther. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm good. And how are you guys doing? Can you believe it's another week gone by? And we are still in lockdown. Oh yeah, but I'm happy we still have online Sunday school. Wow, that's so amazing. We're so happy to meet you all this way. Thank God for all this technology, right? And I hope you enjoyed our first episode. Because today, the second episode, we are learning that you have time. Choose Jesus. Yes, so this is how the action goes, okay? When I say you have time, you will say choose Jesus. Okay, shall we try that, Esther? Yes. Shall we try, guys? Come on, let's go. You have time. Choose Jesus. All right, one more time. You have time. Choose, Choose Jesus. Jesus. Oh, this lockdown. When is this ever going to end? Oh, I know. I wish it ends soon so I can meet my friends and go on a vacation. Yes, and I can imagine you parents as well. Everybody cramped in the house, children running around here and there, you have work to do. You guys are doing really well so far. And we pray that God gives you strength to go through this. Yes. Okay, and that's why we're learning that when we have time, let's choose, choose Jesus. Jesus. Alright, so Esther, tell us, how have you been spending your time? Like I said, I can't wait to go on a vacation. Oh, so hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> vacation, it seems. Come on. Are you crazy? Vacation and lockdown, you're not even supposed to step out of your house. You know what? I take long time to pack my bags to go to any vacation. So I thought this is the right time for me to pack my bag. Oh yes, talk to me about packing bags and Esther. You started packing now. This is going to be a long vacation. So tell me, show me, show me. Your bag is here. Yes. Okay. Got it. Great. So what have you packed in your bag? So this looks so huge. I've packed all that I love and that's going to be I simple. know. You packed all that you love and all that you don't do. Just in place, right? Um, I don't think so. Okay. I've packed what I like. Okay. Let me see. Let me see what's inside. Can I open your bag? Um, okay. Alright. So this bag looks huge. Let's quickly open. Oh wow! This is interesting. You know I love eating. Oh yes, and you love potato chips. Yes. Okay. I was searching for the chips this morning at home. Now I know where it is. Now. This is for me now. All right. Uh, what is this? You know, it's good for us to be safe. Prevention is better than cure. So. You gonna play tennis? No, it's a mosquito bat. Oh yeah, right. This is a mosquito bat. So when you go on vacation, make sure you're safe from the mosquitoes. You're carrying your mosquito yes, bag. That's right. All right. You're thinking too ahead. Too way ahead. All right. And what is this? You know what? I don't want to get any head injury. I'm planning to go on an adventure while I'm on vacation. Oh, so, so an adventure. So a helmet. Yes. Okay. All right. But does helmet go into the bag? I'm not so sure. Anyways. Esther, what's this for? A photo frame. Oh yeah, this is my favorite people because I want to keep them in my heart and inside my bag too while I'm traveling. So Yeah, but Esther, do you remember we can keep the photo on the cell phone also? Um, but I like to keep this and always keep looking at All it right. so I don't have to put password and open my phone. Alright, let's move on. Let's move on. Esther, what is this? Why do you need to carry a trophy on a vacation? How can you tell this? You know what? This is something so close to my heart because I really got this. Yes, but that's what you're doing on a vacation. Yeah, but I got this for something, some performance excellence and, and I don't you know, always carry yeah, it. You want to carry, but maybe not for a vacation, right? To be thankful to God for my Yes. Excellent. All that's good, but still, on a vacation, come on. <gasps> what is this? Toilet roll. You know that's of the most important stuff is this. Yes, yes, I know. Because there, there are people in the world who are holding toilet papers. Yeah. Hope you're not holding toilet rolls. Um, that's a secret. Okay, I'm going to just keep it aside. This is something that you might need. Alright, uh, what else? What else? Esther! 
What are you carrying your bunny toy? Ah, Okay. It's so cute. Now we know what is important for you. Esther, a ball inside a bag. I love playing football, uh, but I think football wouldn't uh, fit in this bag. So I thought, let me at least carry a small toy ball so I can play with this. All right. So that and I can make to be... friends too. All right. So that seems to be all, Esther. Let me ask you something. You had so much time to pack all that I see on the table now. You had time to pack your helmet, time to pack your mosquito bag, oh, my toy, it's and fine. your toy, soft toy, everything. But Esther, you forgot something very important. What is that? You forgot your Bible. You know what? Don't worry. That's why we're learning today that you have time, Esther. Choose Jesus. Yeah. Right? So probably that's something you want to add, right? Sure. I will add Bible too. Yes, I need Jesus. All right. Very good. So children, remember, you have time to do so many things. But make sure you remember Jesus. Make sure you choose Jesus. So I hope this reminds all of us that we have time. Choose Jesus. Jesus. Yo, people, you want to hear a story? The story of a wise man. Listen up, listen up close. The wise man built his house upon rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rain came tumbling down. Yeah, the rain came down and the flood went up. The rain came down and the flood went up The rain came down and the flood went up And the house upon the rock stood firm
Now the foolish man built a house. What did he build his house on? Listen up close. What? Two, three, four. The foolish man built his house upon sand. The foolish man built his house upon sand. The foolish man built his house upon sand. And the rain came tumbling down. The rain came down and the floods went up. The rain came down and the floods went up. The rains came down and the flood went up. And the foolish man's house went poo. Live by what the Bible says. We should live by what the Bible says. We should live by what the Bible says every day of our lives. Then, when troubles come and worries rise, when troubles come and worries rise, when troubles come and worries rise, we will stand firm upon the rock. Now, that is the truth. Today we are going to see a super cool experiment. I am excited to do this. I am sure you are excited too. Okay, first safety first. So let me wear my safety glasses. Okay, now this represents our life. God has created us so beautiful and he has put his plan inside of us. And his plans for us is so special and he has plans for each one of you watching this video. And with this plan, we get educated when we grow up. So let me add this. And then we spend time with our friends and families. And not just that, we are blessed with talents and skills. So we spend time using our talents. We spend time playing uh, our favorite sports. We spend time, uh, what else? We spend time uh, singing and dancing. And some are good at studies. So all of us are blessed with different talents and there's no one without talents, remember that. In spite of adding all this, I see that there's still some emptiness here. And it's not fulfilled. So for our life to be fulfilled, we need to add something very important. And you know what? That is what we're learning today. You have time. Choose Jesus. So let's add this and see what happens. Let's add Jesus to our life and see what happens. Can you see? When you add Jesus, your, your life becomes full and it starts overflowing. And, and that's what happens when you have Jesus. So remember, you have time. Choose Jesus. Try spending as much as time with Jesus. And he will help you to understand his plans for you. And you will live a fulfilled life. Thank you. Friends, I am Toffee the Turtle, your friendly animal buddy. You guys must be familiar with us turtles. In fact, we are known to be really fast. I will remember the story of how I raised a hare and won. <laughs> that is a neat story, isn't it? We turtles live both on land and in water. We are what you call amphibians. We can get to choose where we spend our time, in land or in water. Isn't that cool? Well, I know you guys of late haven't had a lot to choose from, especially after the corona pandemic. Y'all are in lockdown. I must say, the world is a lot more quiet these days. Just like how we get to choose where we spend our time, you guys also get to choose how you spend your time in lockdown at home. Watching TV, playing on the mobile phone, chatting with friends, studying on the internet, 
playing video games, toys, to name just a few. But have you thought about spending time with Jesus? Yes, Jesus. Jesus loves you and would want you to choose Him to spend time with. It's easy to get busy even when we are in lockdown. But making time for Jesus is very important. In the Bible, in Psalm 119 verses 105, it says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. These are uncertain times and only Jesus can give us hope and His word the right path for us to be sure of. He is more than enough even when there is very little. He provides, cares and protects. Jesus loves you. Remember, you have time. Choose Jesus. Hey children, we are learning today that you have time choose Jesus. Today's story is an interesting one and a very important one as well. Uh, it's about the two thieves who were crucified alongside Jesus. Remember the day when Jesus was crucified? We just had Good Friday a few weeks back. They took Jesus up the Golgotha mountain and along with Jesus the Bible says in Luke chapter 23 when we read verse 36 to 43 it talks about two other criminals who were also crucified on the same day in that same place so as as the soldiers nailed jesus to the cross and they put that plaque on the cross saying king of the jews one of the thieves looked at jesus and said can't you save yourself look at how people are making fun of you why don't you save yourself and save us he said but the other thief immediately looked at him and said aren't you afraid we are all sentenced here, but this man is dying for no fault. We deserve to die because we are thieves. But this man, Jesus, has done nothing to deserve to be crucified. And then he said to Jesus, Jesus, remember me. Remember me. And Jesus said, today you will be in heaven with me. What an amazing 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 statement to make by Jesus and what's interesting is about this thief making that choice in that nick of time he just had a few minutes maybe before dying just before his death he makes the right choice he makes the decision to choose Jesus we don't know how much time each of us have in this life especially in these uncertain times we hear of news about so many people around the world who are dying today of coronavirus. We don't know what's going to happen next, right? We don't know how much time we have. But while we have this time, I want to challenge you to choose Jesus. We spend so much time, even in the lockdown, doing so many different things. But I want you to make that one wise choice of giving time for Jesus. Maybe praying. Maybe you're already praying. Some of us are already praying. What can you do to in increase that prayer time? What can you do to learn the Bible a lot more than what we already know? The choice is yours. You have time. Choose Jesus. The word of God in Psalm 119 verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. That's the memory verse for this week. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. God's word gives us direction. Jesus shows us the direction that we have to take in our life. But it depends on how much time we give him. The more time we give him, the more closer we are with him. And the more easy it is for us to hear his direction for our lives. So friends, remember... You have time. Choose Jesus. Hello friends. It's time to pray now. I have some prayer points to share with you. And let's pray together. And you know what? 
God answers our prayers and he loves it when children pray. Okay, so let's pray together. So the first point that we are going to pray for is for our scientists. Let's pray that God gives wisdom to our scientists to come up with vaccination for this coronavirus. And the second thing that we have to pray for is for the people who are already infected with this virus. Let's pray that God heals them completely. Let's pray for the safety of children. It's stated that the child helpline have been receiving more calls than before regarding abuse. And we don't know how this is happening. So let's just pray and ask God to protect every young child. Finally, let's pray for us. Let's ask God to give us the grace to spend quality time with Him. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we want to thank you so much for this beautiful time. Lord, we pray for the coronavirus situation. Lord, we pray for all the scientists. We pray that you'd give them wisdom to come up with vaccination for this virus of God. Lord, we pray for people who are infected. Pray that you would heal them. And we pray for, for your protection over everyone in the world. Lord Jesus, we pray for children who are being abused during this lockdown period. Lord, we pray that you would protect these little ones so that they would be safe, for God. And finally, we pray that you would give us the grace to spend that quality time with you. Lord, we pray that you would help us find time to pray, to be in your presence, to, to speak to you, to hear from you. Lord, we pray that you would give this grace to every little child watching this program. Thank you, Jesus, that you have heard us. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen. All right. Some of you boys and girls have given a good response to the quiz that we asked you all to answer last week. What do you say, Esther? Oh yeah, and I hope I get the surprise gift. Well, uh, that surprise gift is only at the end of the episodes for this season because we are going to total all the points each of you have got and then the person who gets the maximum points will get the surprise gift. Shruti M, Joel Samson, Adriana Victor, Merlin Matthew and Natalia Kohola. You guys have got all the answers right. Brilliant. You guys deserve a big round of applause. Super. So the quiz is going to continue this week. Look out for the link and answer the quiz. All the best to you. All right. So that brings us to the end of this week's Sunday School online. Esther, did you have fun? Yes, I had fun learning. Yes. When I have time, I need to choose Jesus. Yes, and I had fun just getting in touch with you guys. This is so beautiful. Okay, I enjoy your experiment. Thank you. It shows how important it is to have Jesus because only He can give us a fulfilling life. And I loved your story. Yeah. And the story was about the thief on the cross. And of course, the Bible verse for this week was from Psalm 119, verse 105. Memorize it. Memorize it. God's word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Brilliant. And how can you forget my vacation bag? Oh yeah, your vacation bag. So what's important? To pack wisely. At the moment, stay home, stay safe. Bible and read the Bible. Thank you, Esther. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel to hear from the latest from us. God bless you and have a wonderful week. Bye bye. bye, -bye.